Hey yo, what's up man? We back on this Beyond Two Souls. I got a little early your video for y'all. Half the time I was like, let me record this video early. See last episode, man. She met her mom or whatever. And then she got knocked out. Now we back in this office or whatever. Let's get it. Get up. Oh, water. All right, let's go. Ghost boy, get me out of here. Oh my gosh, my notifications. This one time I make a video and I, my notifications don't go off mid-recording. Uh, where I go? All right, looks like we ain't instigating, so we'll uh, just get out of here. But yeah, man, thanks for all that support, though, man. I've been, I've been looking at it. I've been appreciating it. We're doing a big uh, September, you know what I'm saying? Powerful condenser of your creative. Impressive, isn't it? Peyton. Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. Well, yeah, she got hit in the head. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. Uh... Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. All right, uh... What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Uh, well, I'm fake parents, huh? What about that? All the lies, huh? Nathan. Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment, a home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life, whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. I'm angry. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know Preach. that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infra-world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. 
If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this Little got to do with around? me? Because you know the infra world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Little quick video like that, let's go. Little video. All right, I guess I can make it a uh, little like 30 minutes, 30 seconds longer. All right, 72% asked about Dawkins. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess. 83% distracted the guard electric panel. Yeah, that's, that's, I just blew up the thing. I was, I'm about to mess around with that computer and all that. 72 ended her suffering. I understand why. 49% learned your father's name. Okay. Uh, 68% explored the cells with Iden. Some didn't. Okay. I just wanted to see what was inside and stuff. 98% took the metal and I don't know what that is. But yeah, man. Um, like, subscribe, peace out. Catch y'all next one, man.